Hey everyone, this is Abhishek Bacharji. Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about QA from PDF files where you would get to know like from which PDF the answer is you are getting, and this is implemented using OpenAI. Okay, some similar video is already present for text files, and uh, in future, what I'm going to do, like I would also create some uh, videos for uh, doing the PDF search with. Uh, hugging face also and the like QA from website also okay so today uh, only i'm going to talk about this this one okay so for that what i have to do what you have to do like uh, the code is already there you can come to this uh, you can you can clone this repo uh, clone it Okay, so cloning is done. Let me go to my Jupyter notebook. See, this is the repo. Okay, I got all these file folders and files. You have what you have to choose is this one. Open it, right? You'll get one file of where you get all the codes. Let me minimize everything. Okay, and now uh we have i have added some pdf files also uh you can add uh, of your own whatever you want you can add okay so uh here before starting again i'm like i have already said in my previous videos but again i'm uh, telling you what uh, what i'm going to do okay uh first of all like there is three things one is query i mean like search uh, advanced search for that i am using some indexing second thing is like contextual search for that i am using embedding and the third thing is like answering in a what's intelligent way that's why i am using llm okay so three things uh, uh we are going to use main uh, the key points i i should say so first of all we have to set your uh what's a open AI api key okay i am going to set that okay so i have set my api keys i am going to uh, i'm going to do the uh, next part of it so uh, for uh, same thing like uh, i mean like we had to load the pdf data uh, now uh, i mean like whatever you are, we are getting in this pdf files folder uh, i am going to load everything okay so i am running that let me also check the documents get loaded or not okay while it's loading let me tell you one thing if some pdf has a huge data like here you see uh, it's a big uh, a lot of data is there okay so for that what we have to do we have to split it in uh, small small chunks because let's say while our what say uh, the index uh, found out like this file has the potential answer so if we try to pass the whole thing to the whole text the big all the text of that pdf directly to open ai uh, open has a lim limit right how, ma how many uh, characters you can pass so there is a limit you cannot pass all the thing so for that reason you have to chunk it uh, in little uh, small small uh, what say parts so the chunk size i have set 500 and the chunk over the is i have set like 50 okay so let me run this too also so in this text uh, variable we have now now we have all the all our data to be fit now uh, uh, okay so next thing what i had to do we had to set the embedding uh, anyway here i am using uh, open ai embedding uh, um, I mean, like, and also for LLM, also I'm using OpenAI. So same thing, you can uh, change. Uh, you can use anything uh, for embedding, like anything means any uh, model of your choice from Hugging Face. You can use that for LLM. Also, you can do use any uh, Hugging Face model for your choice. But uh, these two things, I mean, like, I'm mean, like main point is like these two things are not related i mean like you can use anything at here and anything at here okay done 
so let me go to the next part that is creating the index it's a simple uh, chroma db index i am creating with the text data so text means what i have already loaded all the chunked data into this text variable so i am using that for creating the uh, index db and now i am going to create the retriever from out of that index that that db okay index db so this is retrieval qa with source chain so here i am passing the retriever that is like this is for searching and the llm is for answering in a proper way right so i have run everything now coming to the answer so i got some pdf for climate change so i have used that anyway so let me ask something uh, i have asked two different things from two different pdf so see it's answering properly like this question for this question the answer is this one and you got the answer from this pdf and for this one we got the answer from this uh, we got this answer and from this pdf okay and see one thing as we have chunked it it is i mean like it, it is running if we don't chunk it it would not run it would give some what say the limit limitation error that we generally got in uh, open AI, right so you have to for that reason we have to chunk it okay so that's it from this video i uh, hope this would help you uh, in some of your work and link of this video you would get in the description below and uh, if you have any doubt any question you can ask me in the comment section i would uh, try to answer that as soon as possible and if you like this video subscribe the channel and hit the like button thanks bye bye